Do all of you feel comfortable standing up here? Yeah. There are those of you that don't. No. Bill doesn't count on that one, okay? Because <laughs> Bill talks in front of people more than I do. But for the camera, usually, I see, I hear about him on TV more than anything. Hey, you on the Weather Channel. I, I was on the Weather Channel. I came all the way to New Jersey just so I could be on the Weather Channel. Well, that wasn't true. But I was on the Weather Channel in New Jersey. The last time I was here, it was right after a big hailstorm. The Secretary of Agriculture was doing a Jersey Fresh, had already planned a Jersey Fresh news conference at a grain hall here in Jersey. So Pete and I went there, you know, for this Jersey Fresh news conference. Well, it was right after the hailstorm when they had all, some fields were 100% destroyed. So all the news companies came to see it, including the Weather Channel, which was really kind of cool. So, and then Pete and I stood out there and visited with him for half an hour. I mean, it was, it was pretty cool. So see, you never, you never know when the Grange might show up. The only time I was on the whole, the whole newscast was stealing peaches out of a box. <laughs> <laughs> this is a test of your job. How many of those people from the Weather Channel now want the Grange? <laughs> Never followed up. Oh, okay. But they're Vinny's problem. They lived in, in New York. I steered them right to the nationalgrange.org site. Of course. So, but yeah. Now, when we're talking about our members and we want to make them feel important, what else do we want to do? Because. If our members are productive, is the grains productive? Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, if, if we're making something in the grains, if we're productive grains, is it? Will anybody else notice? Yes. Is this is this a good positive thing? Sure it is. Sure it is. When we're doing our job right and we're being productive and we have our members has that right to be productive and they feel that. Is it going to change their attitude? Yeah. Sure it is. Are they going to want to play with us? Right. Hopefully. Yeah. You know? So see, those are the things that we want to make sure that we're doing with our members. So, if we want to make them feel important, and we want to make them have the, you know, we want to let them know they have the right to be productive, What's the next step? Give them something to do. Well, now. <laughs> We've got a family in range with a 27 year old Down syndrome son. Our communication skill is almost to zero. He is the best table cleaner we've got. He never has met a person who doesn't like him. He will hug everybody. And he will clean. So his attitude's right, he loves to play, you know, give him something to do, he's productive, makes him feel important. And when we have a meeting, he stays off on the side with his DVD player and his headphones, he's perfectly content for an hour and a half now. We need more rangers like that, okay? <laughs> Don't we? Don't we? So, how do I give them the opportunity? Is there something you would like to do? Are we willing to do that? Should be. So if I came to you and said, you know, I really think that we should we should sell hot dogs at the next parade in town. Everybody in town. Some of us do. That's where I come up. Yeah. Let's stop. So, if we're going to do that, can this person, if they say, if I said that, if I came to your grant and said, I'd like to do this, and you're making me feel important by giving me the opportunity, okay, if you're going to let me be productive by doing it, are you going to help me? Is everybody in our grant going to help? Not everybody. So what do they do? Not everybody helps on everything. So if you don't help on everything, what do you do? So it's, it's okay then to do an activity that I'm not going to be part of. Absolutely. It's your choice to be part of. Ah, now, is that okay in some 
some ranges? It may not be a Because if I'm in the leadership of this grange and I don't want to do it, should I let somebody else do it? I should, shouldn't I? It's okay for that to happen. <laughs> yeah. There are some of us that ask other people. You're grooming your next leader. Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly what we should be doing. That's exactly what we should be grooming our next leaders. But when we're making their day, I want to make sure that when tomorrow, when we're talking to people, that we make them feel we want to give them opportunity. We're going to give them the grain, aren't we? Because what can't they do in the grain? There's not a lot. They can do a lot of things in the grain, can't they? Exactly. Exactly. So we're going to be talking to non-members tomorrow. Now, how are we going to make their day? Does this sound like I'm asking them to join? Yes? No. I'm building up to that, am I? Aren't I? Because I'm making them feel that I need them, that I want them. All right? When we're picking teams to play the soccer game out back, do you want to be the last one picked? No, you want to be the first one picked. So we need to make every non-member feel they're our first pick. Okay? We need to make them feel important. <laughs> now then, this one's a tough one. This one's a tough one. Because I already told you about Sister Phyllis and how she kind of frustrates me in the meeting, right? So, does she make a difference? Can I think of a positive way for her to make a difference? I need to find one. I'm going to keep my attitude up and be positive about it. I need to find one. Was it really that funny? Nobody else laughed over here. It's because they know Phyllis. And, and they might. Well, Clara knows a couple of Phyllis's that I know. <laughs> Uh, this is the one that we need to do. Now, when we start talking about opportunities that the Grange has to offer, now, if I'm talking to Sharon, or I'm talking to Jessica, how do I know which of the Grange opportunities I'm to say? Like what kind of question? What do you like to do? What are your interests? What's your hobbies? Hobbies, interests, what do you like to do? Exactly. Exactly. Because I just met Sharon today. Well, I've known you through the internet for a long time. But I just met her today. Now I need to know about her. I need to know what she likes to do, where she likes to spend her time. As much information as she'll let me ha let me have. Because tomorrow we're sharing the grain. So, what am I going to tell Sharon about? Am I going to tell her about the junior program? Maybe she if she has kids. If I hear she has grandkids. Yes. yes. Yeah. See, those are the things I need to know. Is she taking care of grandkids? Does she live next to family? Do they have grandkids? Those are the things. What do you have for wheelchair? <laughs> we have a brand new one. A down home cookbook. Do you have any recipes? Yeah. <laughs> I got so see, recipes. The thing is, is it's not for me to guess. Okay? It's not for me to guess what Jessica would like and start just throwing out opportunities to Grange, is it? Because if I get off on the wrong track, she's going to go, well, Grange isn't really for me. Rusty was telling me they did this and this and this. Those don't mean anything. But once I hear what she likes to do, where she likes to go, and spend her time, and with whom, and who she hangs out with, and whatever I can find out, then I can start telling her about the strange opportunity. 